Here's a nice simplified sketch showing the structure of the heart. First thing to get right is which side is which. It's not quite as obvious as you might think. In order to understand which side is which, start by raising your left hand. As you're watching this video, raise your left hand. Now imagine we get this guy here to raise his left hand. Now imagine that this is his heart and we are looking at it from the front. You can clearly see the reason why we label this as right and left, because in his body, that is his right and left side. There are four chambers to the heart. Two of them are the atria and two of them are the ventricles. The atria are at the top and the ventricles are at the bottom. And they're just labeled as to which one is on the left and which is on the right. It's easy to remember which is at the top and the bottom because at the bottom of the heart, you can almost envisage this sort of V shape. V for ventricles are at the bottom. Blood is going to enter the heart from the body and it's going to do it in the right atrium. At that top vessel there, it enters from the head and arms and at the lower one, it comes from the lower body. This is the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. In some diagrams, it simplifies this and just shows one vessel and labels it as the vena cava. Blood goes through the right atrium, through the right ventricle, and then out towards the lungs. This vessel that it leaves through is called the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary is just an adjective that describes something relating to the lungs. And the artery is something that leaves the heart. Artery is for away, A for away. If the pulmonary artery takes things away from the lungs, the thing that comes from the lungs and into the heart is the pulmonary vein. Veins are things that enter the heart. The blood's going to go through the left atrium and then through the left ventricle, and it's going to leave there and go to the rest of the body. The vessel that it does this through is the aorta. As you can see, by the blue and the red arrows, the right side deals with deoxygenated blood, and the left side deals with oxygenated blood. And these two types of blood must always be kept separate. It's kept separate by this wall in the center, and this wall in the center of the heart is called the septum. Ventricles have got thicker walls than the atria, and this is because the ventricles have got to send the blood further. The atria have only got to send blood from there into the ventricles, which are still within the heart, but the ventricles have got to send the blood a lot further. Now, while that one wall that's labeled there is thicker because it's got more muscle, the one on the left-hand side is the thickest one. Now let's compare where they're going. From the right ventricle, it only has to go to the lungs, so that muscle is only sending blood up to the lungs. The muscles in the left ventricle, on the other hand, have got to be strong enough to pump blood right around the body through the aorta, and so that is the, the thickest muscle of all of the chambers in the heart. Let's look at the sort of thing you might get asked about this on an exam. You could get shown the diagram of a heart and asked, in which labelled parts of the heart would blood be oxygenated? Based on your understanding, you should recognise that it's areas Y and area Z. Z is the pulmonary vein, and so it's containing blood which has just come from the lungs. And area Y is the left ventricle, and all of the left side contains oxygenated blood.